Welcome to another display tutorial. Today we're going to be setting up an implement inside of the display. Uh, in order to do that, we're at the home screen now. We're going to navigate back to our toolbox. And then we're going to go over to the implement tab. It'll be abbreviated. Uh, and here we need to name our implement so we can name this. I'll just choose a tillage implement for an example. And then if we wanted to assign this to a work condition, we can do that as well. Uh, right here we have the option for hitch implement. Uh, or if we had something that was tied to the three-point hitch or uh, the remote hydraulics, we can also set that up here as well. Uh, right here we have our implement width. That would be our physical implement width. So uh, not necessarily based on our guidance swaths, but based on the width of the implement itself and we can set that up that'll be for uh, mainly for boundaries and obstacles so that the uh, display knows when you get closer to those uh, those areas of the field swath width that'll give you uh, basically the distance in between each uh, in between each uh, guidance swath so that'll be what you're painting on on the map uh, implement offset, so if we have something such as a uh, maybe a mower conditioner or something that uh, has an offset to it, we'll have to measure that. That'll be from the, uh, the center point of the vehicle to the center point of the implement. Uh, when we navigate down to here and the bar distance, uh, the bar distance will give us uh, from the fixed axle point, depending on what vehicle that you have, uh, to the application point so that's what we'll have to measure with that and we'll have to use a tape measure for for measuring that and then lastly your maximum steering angle uh, which is usually hard coded but that's pretty much it uh, you will have to have an implement width uh, in order to uh, record your guidance swaths so that the display knows exactly how far to space those swaths out um, if we go into some of the smart implement setups it's a little bit different because uh, the display will have all that information from the implement ECU. Another thing that's really important when we're talking about an implement setup is the work state arrow. And you'll see this in the status and warning icon area. Uh, so this is determining or telling us that the hitch is in the up position. If we go ahead and lower the hitch here, you will see that arrow change at a certain point and you'll see it change to a green arrow pointing down. And that's just indicating to us that we have the hitch either raised or the hitch lowered if we have a three-point implement. Uh, 